going to state up front that what follows doesn't actually pertain to myself or my channel, fortunately, at least not at present. It never has, with the notable exception of a minor blip here and there. Blip as in small object, not as in utterly irrelevant video hosting website with draconian half-wit moderators. But that doesn't mean it isn't a problem, people. Especially not a problem for other people. Twitter, Failbook, and even YouTube had their collective anuses all aflutter over the past week due to the rollout of Google's new copyright policies and, of course, their dramatically overhauled uh, content ID system. I said it then and I'll say it now. I find it profoundly hypocritical that many of the same voices who fell conspicuously silent angry Joe when Google Plus was forcibly integrated into the site, you know, a month back at the expense of our privacy suddenly elected to pipe right the fuck up now that Google's earth-rending incompetence is cutting into their bottom line. And I call double hypocrisy on the profligate dipshits who were all salt and vinegar yesterday morning until they received personal phone calls from Capcom, Nintendo, and the like and had their grievances individually ameliorated. So basically, content ID is a problem right up until the moment it's no longer your problem. Christ knows I've been accused of it enough. I ought to know the word for that is motherfucking elitism, asshole. If you're going to enforce these Adelbrain and copyright policies, what's good for the goose ought to suffice for the gander, as far as I'm concerned. And as imbecilic as this happens to be, it'll plummet to an even deeper concentric circle of discognizant corporate inferno if suddenly these policies are miraculously lifted for people like, say, the Spoonie One or Angry Joe, just because their channel happens to be roughly the size of an Xbox One! All the while, the hapless serfs absent a corporate rabbi with a key to Google's literal and figurative back door find their channels closed in response. That's the dictionary definition of elitism. And in fact, it's already beginning to fucking happen. Prominent YouTuber receives copyright strikes. Prominent YouTuber complains. Prominent YouTuber receives timely phone call from Capcom of America. Prominent YouTuber falls suspiciously goddamn silent. Learn the pattern, because you'll be seeing an awful fucking lot of it over the coming weeks. The issue? Well, primarily it's the issue Let's Players have been dealing with for nearly half a decade. Simply put, publishers and developers believe that they made the game, therefore they own the gameplay, and broadcasting entire games, or even momentary swaths of said games, constitutes a light form of internet piracy. While I certainly believe the bloated-ass Let's Player community could stand the YouTube equivalent of a culling of the fucking herd, facts are facts, and simply put, the facts are not on the publisher's side. Publishers can own code. Publishers can own art resources, and narrative structures, and intellectual properties. They can even own specific game features. They do not own gameplay. Gameplay isn't presented courtesy of Electronic Arts. It's an Electronic Arts pop-colored frat fuck getting baked in his Barca Lounger co-production, okay? Here's an idea, you miserly shitbags. Nintendo. Go ahead and start your own Let's Play channel. Turn your console on, slide the disc into the tray, and don't let a player anywhere near the fucking controller. Let the opening crawl replay a hundred times in succession. Capture and upload that shit to YouTube, because without the player, that's what you own, motherfucker. How do we know the facts aren't on the publisher's side? Because in most cases, they haven't copyright claimed actual gameplay, relegating themselves rather to something they do own, which generally falls into the category of music or video, which to their credit, they do own. But that they have restricted themselves almost exclusively to music speaks volumes of the level of confidence they have in their legal dominion over actual gameplay footage. If they owned it, they would claim it. But they're not. Saying Konami can own footage of my friend Mangaminx playing Silent Hill is like saying Triumph can own footage of me driving my motorcycle down the fucking freeway. Take me out of the equation. Film the motorcycle sitting idle in a garage for five hours and tell me how large your fucking audience is now, Triumph. And the minute a halfway articulate lawyer brings that argument before the Supreme Court is the exact moment we cease to deal with Viacom or anyone else's half-cocked Orwellian copyright horseshit. I'm Razorfist. God. Fucking speed.